All right, so with this specific wavetable here, I like the first few frames from frame one to about 25. I have some good changes going on. But after that, it's too subtle of a change to where I don't get much difference in the sound. So let's go to my, let's find frame 29. And now let's actually start to look at how we can manipulate some of these. So I'm going to go to frame 44. And you have these different shapes or curves at your disposal that you can start to draw with, right? So I'm just going to draw in a little bit of these into my wavetable. And I'm just selecting these at random at the moment just to show you what it's going to do. Now this dot one will allow you to do some really fine edits and things like that. There's all these different parameters that you can choose. You can turn your grid off. I'm going to add some noise to this. If you click and hold and drag up or down, it'll create a larger or smaller noise. So this kind of roughs up parts of the sound, which is nice. So let's go here and then kind of rough that up. So you can load a different shape. Like I could load a, let's, load, let's go up to 86 now and start to ramp that down, Maybe ramp that up and now add some noise to that shape. So it helps if you want to kind of rough up some edges, it helps to click the shape first and then add the roughness to it. But let's start to look at let me select these again, and I'm going to go to Morph, and I'm going to Spectral. And I did just the selection, so now it's going to morph in between the ones that I just created. So let's go back here to Serum. And remember, I thought that it sounded cool from about 1 to 25. Well, I can see here past 25, I have some more changes here before it starts to even out. It's actually going to about 80. So that's what we just did by drawing in those shapes. So let's listen to that. All right, so that wasn't there at the beginning of this section of the course, which is cool. I actually like how that sounds. What we did was we added in some information and then I reapplied the morph to those frames that I started to kind of draw in these different edges, rough up certain parts, and just make it a little bit more interesting. Because I, with the sample I loaded, it was too short for this instance and it didn't have enough information where about at about past frame 25, it got really boring and nothing happened to the sound. So now if I, let's detune this guy. So now let's load up an LFO, modulate my wavetail position just a bit. Right? And there you have it. There is the quickest way to really get into using Serum's Wavetable Editor. Drag and drop some, some of your favorite wave samples. You can pull your own wave samples from guitars, pianos, synths, whatever it may be. Drag and drop it in. It helps to know the pitch. And then you can do apply that spectral morph process or go to morph and select morph spectral. And it will make more frames for your wavetable. And then delete the frames you don't need. Maybe there's a, a, a pause at the beginning or there's dead space at the end, delete that. And then finally, if you lose interesting information partway through your wavetable position or your frames, start to draw in some custom shapes using your, your curve tools here to the left. All right, thanks for checking this out. I'll see you next time.